Hello, this is Francis from McCaffrey Crafts and uh, today we're having a, a little chat over a cup of tea. Uh, we're nearly getting to the end of the uh, of the year and uh, last reminder is that today is the uh, the last day that if you want me to ship the orders and them to arrive before Christmas, today is the last day, the 14th of December. So any orders that come in today, I can get done up tomorrow and, and shipped off as well. Um, the courier deadline for, for North America and worldwide is the 16th of December. That's when they're saying that uh, any orders that they ship before the 16th or on the 16th will uh, or should arrive before before Christmas. And uh, any orders after that will probably be after Christmas or after the new year. That would be the uh, delivered as well. Um, I'll still be making sticks. I, I still plan to, uh, to, to do some sticks. I think that... Um, in Ireland at the moment, the the temperatures are are pretty cold by by Irish standards, um. So it's it's going to be like minus three or minus four tomorrow for the next few days, and quite a lot of frost in the mornings. And the roads are a little bit treacherous in the morning because there's a uh, as always there there's not enough um salt to put on the roads, and they're only uh putting on salt onto the the, the main roads. So there's been been I know the roads have uh, had some problems between uh, Milltown and Tralee and uh, a few places around here as well. So um I plan to maybe upload some more um of shillelaghs in the next day or two. Uh, I have about about twenty of them finished. Um, I still have plenty of swagger sticks. I didn't have a chance to get them up on the website, but hopefully if all goes to plan today, I'll get more swagger sticks up on the site. Um, over the Christmas, I'll be cutting a lot of blackthorn. Um. You know, weather dependent, of course, if it, if the weather is too bad, I'll, I'll have to stay in. But uh, I hope to to get into the uh, the, the cutting now a bit over because I need to, to get up my, my stock as well. I'm only about halfway there where I should be at the moment. So I'll probably be focusing a lot on, on that um, over the uh, over the Christmas. And uh, I'll be making a lot of sticks um, over the Christmas, too, because uh, I want to have a, a nice uh, a nice January because um, January is uh, usually the worst month uh in ireland in terms of the weather and with, with everything so um usually like you know what i usually do is uh, i get quite prepared over the christmas so that in january i can kind of maybe just uh just take it uh take a little bit easy a bit um you know and if i'm well prepared if i have like you know if i can get 100 200 sticks done and hit them out for the start of the year it's always a, a it's very important for me to have a good start to the year usually as well and uh, you never know what kind of year it is as well you're only as good as your last stick you know as as, as they say in the stick making business um so that's kind of what's what i plan to do as well um christmas uh is you know within the the mccaffrey family um usually we we uh, go up to uh, to my mom and dad's house uh, my sister and my brother-in-law usually come to visit me as well and we always have a very interesting topical conversation with my brother-in-law uh, whatever the hot topic is of the year you know he he definitely wants to dive in and have a good debate in it and uh, I do enjoy debating with him he's a very very intelligent guy and a lot of information and knowledge and uh, we do have different opinions sometimes and I do enjoy um, having um, you know, like a proper constructive debates with with uh, with guys with contrary opinions to myself. You know, who can you know give give good information? I think that's what's needed. Like you know, like for me, I love doing that at Christmas. Uh, my dad is in is in good health. Um, I've uh, you know he's he's been kind of relaxing, but he's my uh, granddad or my dad, and we all come, just used to call him granddad because of the kids. Um, you know, he's also a, a stick maker as well, and. Uh, He's been helping me now in the, the last few weeks with straightening the sticks. I think he's getting tired of doing that because that, that's the kind of a time consuming part of the uh, of the process when you need to get things done is to try to straightening the wood and, and getting it a bit balanced. Sometimes that can, can be a bit a bit on the time consuming side. And, uh, you know, like mostly I've been focusing on on the um, on the handles and, and shaping them and uh, trying to get them finished as well. And uh yeah, you know, it's another another good year. Um the stick the stick business was pretty good this year. Um I think after COVID everyone was worried like what was gonna happen and, and, and different things. But you see the Irish shillelagh and the Irish walking stick, it's like a heritage product. It's it's a product of Ireland that everyone, you know, is uh, is familiar with as well. So it seems to be a bit more kind of like recession proofs and different things like that. Um you know there's still you know there there's still people every year that are going to need walking sticks. There's there's you know as people are more active as well and, and doing more things as well, you know, just like an old car, like, you know, you need, you need to, to, to take them to a mechanic every now and again, you're going to need a walking stick sooner or later. 
But the thing about these Irish blackthorns is that you can have them at any age and any fitness level as well, that um, they kind of like transcend more from, from a walking end to, to like, um, they're more like a status symbol. Now, if you think about it, like guys walking around, they're really proud of their blackthorn Irish walking sticks. Um, they love showing them off. They love to take pictures. I love the guys who, who name their walking sticks too. Like uh, there's loads, loads of guys out there that uh, that actually give a name and personalize their walking stick. I think that's quite quite interesting to do as well. And uh, yeah, so the 2022 um, has been a, a pretty good year um, for sales uh, as opposed to, to other years as well, um, which, you know, is kind of surprising. Like people are still still buying as well. Um, 2023 could be a bit of a tougher year, I'd say, when... You know, with things, things correct, uh, you know, contract and, and different things as well. But as I said, look, you know, um, an Irish Blackthorn walking stick is almost like a store of value. So if you buy, you know, McCaffrey's Irish Blackthorn, you'll have no problem like reselling it if you ever get short of funds or something like that as well. So it is uh, actually a pretty good um, investment as well. And uh, it's a great family heirloom because like, you know, when you get to your later years, you know, you, you and people around you and your loved ones have a memory of you with your walking stick your prized possession and 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 memory and a lot of people who do buy like walking sticks especially this time of year it's, it's usually for nostalgia or they have a, a warm memory associated with their granddad you know with his black torn walking around and you know there's there, there is an emotional connection um to to this particular stick and uh and as, as you've been watching my channel like you know i i adore the the black torn trade it's, it's my passion it's what i'm about um, you know, I, I don't think you can get a better product out there like this, like literally grown in our side. You own a part of Ireland when you when you buy a McCaffrey Crafts Blackthorn. And I think that that's quite interesting. So, you know, I must I must like usually over Christmas, I kind of try to think of new ideas or, or what to do or if there's any way to expand this business, because it's really hard to, to kind of expand it because it's kind of all me. You know, it's me, me who does pretty much everything from cutting the wood to making it as well. And um, I have a few guys that can also cut a little bit of wood for me, which helps because, you know, I, I can need, I always need, um, I always need a, a bit more uh, wood than, than I can cut. I can cut about 800 sticks, no problem each year. Um, I have about four or 500 at the moment. And if I can get another four or 500, you know, in March, I should be okay for, for the year, two years from now as well. Um, so yeah, like I'm, I'm okay as well with, with stock. I think like in the last two years, um, if you had a decent amount of, of black turn wood and stock, you would have been cleaned out. Um, I've noticed a lot of guys have been selling out this year as they can't keep up with the orders, the role of this and that. And, you know, because I'm, you know, quite, quite, quite big in the, uh, in the black turn business and have quite a lot of, of wood collected. I was able to to go deep into my reserves as well, but you know, I did I did say Ooh, I was like you know I like I I was always kind of comfort that I'd have a, a six or seven year supply and stuff, but I got down now to my two year supply and I was like oh I'm, I'm I need to kind of start building up again because like you know what I cut now is two three years from now that I can use so like you know I have enough stock for for this year for next year and some for the year after, but usually I would have stock for another two years after that as well. Because like um, usually I like to have again about between five to seven years of of stock in advance, and the the reason I was I did that and rightly so is because if anything takes off or a surge in business, like you know, there's always these black swan events that can benefit the black drone as well, and um, you know all it takes is some cultural reference and and uh, before you know it, it it'll it'll take off like it happens every now and it's like a cycle of things. That, you know, there's some movie, there's some reference, there's something that happens and uh, some interest in it as well. It just takes for one celebrity or one person to, to, to kind of embrace it and then boom, it'll go. And, you know, I, I always like to be positioned for, for when these things, like once a year, always there's there's a, a, a month, like for this year, it was October for some reason. October is usually not, not a great month for for sales. But this year, for some particular reason, October was flying and booming. I think like there was guys who were on their annual leave and taking holidays and um, who, who also are in the, the black term business. And there, were, there was a shortage of it. And there was just a huge interest. I think everyone was getting in their Christmas orders um, a bit earlier this year than, than in previous years. Because like, you know, they're always worried about getting their orders in on time and stuff like that. By the way, you can still, still uh, order with McCaffrey Crafts right up until the end of business today, up to the 14th of uh, December and uh, that gives me time to, to get out um, you know your your last minute Christmas gifts and uh, yeah I'm just enjoying my cup of tea now on a cold morning here 
in in Ireland. Um, I got to get back into cutting next week, and uh, you know, I know a lot of people who are new to the the black drum business. They love going out cutting and the nature and stuff, but I have the injuries of of Christmas ghost pasts uh, from from cutting the black drum. And um, a guy rang me yesterday and I was, I was telling him he was a horticulturist guy and it's into a lot of lot of plants and different things and selling me how the black drawer is poisonous. I have to crawl into the bush to get it. And he was very fascinated and interested, you know, to know that this much went into it because like a lot of you guys, you just see the finished stick and you're like, oh, this is a nice stick and stuff. You don't you don't understand like the pain, sweat, blood and tears that that literally go into it as well. Um, actually I had a guy, I had a guy, um, he messaged me and he was wondering, was there some blood I left on the stick? And I was really nervous. I was like, Oh, what happened? Did, did I, did I, did a little bit of my blood spill on a stick or something? Cause there's like a red, there's like a red, like blood stain on it. But sometimes like within the woods, you can get this kind of like little reddish color as well. And, uh, so I was a bit worried, but he showed me some pictures and he says it doesn't rub off. It seems to be in the wood. Um, so, you know, you never know, like, you know, you, you could get one of these rare ones that actually have have my, my blood under the finish or something like that as well. Uh, you know, because, uh, you know, I, I, I spill blood regularly each week on, on making black turn, no matter how careful you are, it, it happens as well. I think anyone who kind of works with their hands, they're kind of used to, to that kind of uh, happening as well. Um, so, yeah, everyone's good. The family's good. Everyone's in good health. And uh I just need to like, you know, I I won't be able to see well at night knowing I'm going to hit January well. I got I got to hit this uh, pretty, pretty hard. Um, I don't really take my foot off the pedal all years around. Like, you know, I might, might rest up today because I'm on top of things. I think only uh, one order came in there this morning that's from Ireland. So I can get that out pretty quickly within the next day or two. So I'm on top of all my orders for a change as well. And uh, yeah, feeling good and feeling very motivated. And as always, if you guys... Uh, like my channel and content and uh, I know a lot of you guys you want me to be making things and doing things and different things as well and uh, hopefully now I can I can get uh, some time to, uh, to to do this as well but you know as soon as my channel grows a bit more I'll, I'll, I'll put more time into the old production factors and stuff as well and um, for now it's just I pick my phone up and when I have a break from from stick making or something like that I just like to put something out there or or like you know just just talk as well so go to mccaffreycrafts.com and as always Thank you for watching. Okay, bye-bye.